Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of Robin Wizard Hat Plays Nuclear Throne. Now if you're not familiar with Nuclear Throne, it is a roguelite by Vlambeer, a gaming company. Um, the goal of the game with most roguelikes is to basically get as powerful as possible and as the game goes on it gets harder and harder. There's new weapons that unlock as you go on. Uh, you can actually unlock newer mutants. I currently have all of them unlocked. I'm not new to this game, I'll admit it. Uh, but I'm going to do a few warm-up runs before we do the daily run. Um, now, I'm, most of you are probably familiar with daily runs. You're competing against everybody else playing as far as how many kills you can get. Now, let's go ahead and do a run. And we'll start out with Crystal. Basically, Crystal's thing is she starts with two extra HP and has a shield that reflects projectiles. However, it does not anymore reflect laser beams, which is a kind of a nerf, but at the same time, Crystal used to be pretty ridiculous. Like, uh, Krinku, if you're not familiar with him, he's an amazing nuclear throne player, and he ended up getting, I believe, the world record. I think it's the still world record, or it might be 30,000 now, but he got a 25,000 kill run with Crystal and a mutation called Gamma Guts with Crystal's Ultra Mutation, which you get at level 10, uh, which he just stomped face with, basically. So let's keep going here. Basically, right now I just have a pistol. I didn't get a weapons chest at the beginning of this, but that's fine. Should get something, machine gun, anything to make this a little bit easier. Grenade launcher is not really what I want. You can kill yourself from explosive damage, but it's not bad. These are rad canisters. If you look at that little green thing up at the top, it is a rad canister. Basically, it just gives you more rads. And what rads do is, as you go on, you kill enemies, get more radiation, and that is what causes you to level up. And as you level up, you change your mutations, which give you special abilities, whether it's more damage, healing, um, run faster, pretty much anything. So, right here we have back muscle, higher ammo max, pretty pretty self-explanatory throne butt throne butt is interesting because it's it's unique to each character so with uh crystal they teleport after shielding which again is the right click ability i don't really like it, it i find it jarring i can't use it effectively it's probably pretty good uh i'm not a huge fan of it gamma guts is what i mentioned earlier any enemies that touch you take damage is pretty all right as well i'm a huge fan of this one rhino skin it gives you more hp um, and pretty much that's the name of the game. Damage, HP, and ammo. So we're gonna roll Rhino Skin. So now I have 14 health on top of Crystal. The, the four health on top of Crystal is already amazing. Amazing health. Now, the first boss that you see here is Big Bandit. He is relatively simple. He can charge, he can shoot, but we're just gonna shoot him in the face with grenades. And now he's dead. So, pretty simple first boss. Now in a loop, there are two of those guys, and then three of those guys, and then four of those guys, depending upon how many loops you go through. So let's go ahead and grab more ammunition, and hopefully this rad canister, yep, and continue on. Now as you go on, there are different sections of the game. You're not always in a desert. Uh, we're about to head into the sewers, but first we have to pick our level three mutation. Patience, basically, if you don't like any of these, you can take patience and get something better. Or, not necessarily better, um, but it's different. There's laser brain. Energy weapons deal more damage. It's about double, actually. Double damage on laser weapons is amazing. Hammerhead, you can run through walls for a limited amount of time per, uh, per level. And stress, which is higher rate of HP, or higher rate of fire as HP gets lower. And... Because I'm going for incredibly high HP, it's based on a percentage of your missing HP. So, say at the end we take the mutation for Crystal that gives her an extra 6 health, we'll have 20 health, and say we're at 1 health, we're going to be shooting like crazy. I don't normally take, um, I don't normally take the stress on other characters, but on Crystal it can be sometimes so amazing. So, downside of the sewers is these little rat dudes, they don't drop anything, so you can find yourself 
in an ammo short situation. But hopefully we'll be able to get out of here no problem. Those guys vomit rats. They are pains in the ass. And we're out of bullets for that, so we're relying on grenades right now. Please die. Oh, thank you. The grenades do blow up on touch, but they do not... Ah, I gave me the pistol! Picked up a little extra ammunition. So, here's an interesting thing you can do. This game is filled with little secrets. This little grate here, if you have an explosive weapon like this uh, grenade rifle. Grenade launcher, mind you. Actually, grenade rifle is in the game, but we don't have it. And then you go and fight the turtles. Now, the mutation I'm going to go with here is probably going to be Strong Spirit, because if you're at one health and you get hit, you don't die. And then it recharges if you get back to full health. It's kind of a pain in the ass if you have 20 health, uh, but it is worth it, because if you used it once, then you would have been dead had you not had it. Laser Brain is tempting, though. And last wish, you get full health and some ammo, but that's just not... We're just not going to mention that. Strong Spirit. All right. Basically, the point of going to the turtle level is just to get a few extra rads, maybe a better item, some... Oh, please go away, but they do just kind of do that little... spinny move at you, and that's pretty spooky. More ammunition, more bullets. It was good because we are incredibly low. Onto the wasteland. And this is where we're going to be using our shield a whole lot more. Start to see the value of the shield. I want that ammunition. I want that ammunition! Alright. Gah! Those fires will hurt you. And they are very annoying. Let's just blow up this car. Blow up the car. Okay. Kill that assassin. I took damage. Laser cannon is better than grenade launcher, but I'm not a huge fan of it unless you have laser brain, which we did not take. I took more fire damage. That's fine. We're alive. We have five health. It's going to give us crazy rate of fire. Euphoria slows down enemy bullets. Bolt marrow makes your bolt weapons uh, home, and it is pretty amazing as well. Lucky shot is okay. Basically, some kills regenerate ammo. You don't really see the usefulness until you your screen is filled with enemies, but, you know, it's kind of like investing in your future. Uh, recycle gland. With bullet weapons, you shoot. Some of them become ammo. Um, it's all right, but I think we're going to take bolt marrow here. Even though we don't have a bolt weapon yet, I really like bolt marrow a lot, and we'll probably end up finding one in the future. Those little salamander dudes shoot out fire out of their face and basically make you want to, uh... Well, basically, they want to end your life. It's pretty much the long and short of it. We are just really not doing great for ammunition. You need to kind of try and use as little as possible. Die. Shovel. You know what? We'll take it over laser cannon. Some people might think I'm crazy for that, but the ammunition problems have been ridiculous. So let's go ahead and smack that dude in the face. Melee weapons, of course, obviously use no ammunition. The shovel um, is one of the best ones. It's got a low rate of fire. As you can see, I'm clicking at max speed right now. It's not huge. Not huge. Uh, but it does shoot out three to the left, or one to the left, one to the right, one in the center. So dealing with crowds is pretty all right. We're going to want to replace that later, though. But, I mean, 17 bullets on a uh, assault rifle doesn't go really far. Those snipers are going to try and shoot us in the face and uh, just kind of be assholes about it. But the shield helps out a lot with those. Also, melee weapons... You can reflect their bullets. It's alright. Probably not that useful on this particular hero. But then again, okay, Seeker Pistol, that is what we're replacing this shovel with. It basically is nuts. You shoot it really quickly. Now, of course, this is uh, changed a little bit by our stress, and it's just homing. It seeks them. Heavy Crossbow is tempting, though. It does a lot more damage. And we have Bolt Marrow. The downside is it doesn't shoot very quickly. Gonna take it. 
not gonna keep the secret pistol, but I am gonna grab the shovel. Nah, it's crazy. I need the assault rifle. Okay, plutonium hunger is really strong. Basically, as you're going, you you know those little pickups. You have to run over them originally with plutonium hunger. They just come to you within a certain range. Bloodlust is also really good though. Um, kills. Sometimes a kill will give you one HP, but late in the game, like I said, with lucky shot is nuts. <sighs> we. This is actually really hard. It is a really hard choice between plutonium hunger and bloodlust. <sighs> we are going to go with bloodlust. That is a very hard decision. Really, probably both choices are right. Anyway, we're gonna show this off a little bit. This erupts. We're in the crystal caverns. Ah, I hate these guys so much. They're so quick and my weapons are so slow firing. Oh, please don't shoot me. Laser beams. Uh, laser, lots of laser beams and um, spiders made out of crystals. However, you're gonna see a little bit of rate of fire help from this uh, stress. But again, ammunition, man, we are low on it. Uh, I did, oh, I did, I did get the bolts. Okay, I'm happy about that. Laser minigun. We don't have the ammo for it. I will show it though. It's nuts. But again, you see how much ammo that took? Took a ridiculous amount. There's a flat cannon. Flat cannon! Go away. Okay. You know what? We'll take the flat cannon over the assault rifle. It might not be the best choice, but we're living with it. Uh, where is the last enemy? Down here? Oh, yes. Goodbye. And this is the Frozen City. Frozen City is filled with enemies that chase you down and want to shoot you in the face. Uh, you couldn't see it, but there was a giant tank man, which I'm sure we'll see more of. Which, their thing is, they just kind of walk around for a little bit. They don't do contact damage, but they will focus onto you and then shoot you with a uh, pattern of bullets. Auto Flame Shotgun is incredibly strong. We're going to take bullets for it. Um, basically, the name of the game with this is you want to have a spammy weapon, and you want to have a weapon that can shoot something and kill it in one hit. And right now, Heavy Crossbow. Heavy Crossbow plus this, we've got that set up. Oh, did, uh, did I just miss a Super Crossbow? I am so disappointed in myself. That sucks a lot. Um, again, we're going for the full health strat, but I'm on level 7. And after level 10, you don't get any more, and I really want an ammo mutation. But I'm going to do it anyway, because I, I, I love this combination. Tons of health, sharp teeth. Sharp teeth, basically, you get hit. It reflects it back to everyone on the screen. Times two. Which, it's not a huge difference. Ah. Hold on, I don't want to die here. It's not a huge di die, just die. But when you've got a bunch of people with low health and they're all chasing you down, it is great. Oh, hi. Yeah, that snowman blows up into these little guys. Uh, they don't do much. They give you, I guess they give you rads. I didn't think they gave you that many rads, but all right. Uh, just to mention, this little thing, or what it used to be, uh, if you shoot it, it will open up and then a bunch of policemen will come out and try and murder you, the IDPD. Um, but if you kill enough enemies while it's open, then you can just go in there and get a crown, and that modifies how your game plays. Um, basically, there's like, Crown of Blood is the most popular one. It pretty much doubles the difficulty. Um, so that's pretty nuts. Now we're about to see our third boss there he is hi little hunter and he is a dick this man en ends more runs for me than anything else in this game so i'm going to run away this way and gonna shoot him in the face and oh my god he died please don't blow up and kill me and he didn't so he's a friendly uh friendly guy all right get a little bit more hp ha ah. 
Do we step over this? Stepping over weapons gives you more ammo. So there's that bloodlust proc. A little bit more ammo. And a cluster launcher. Cluster launcher does this. Not that great. Very dangerous. And we're going on to a new area. This is the labs. Again, theme is stuff runs into you. But instead of just running into you, it also explodes. So this is, and there's sentry guns that shoot you in the mouth. Ugh, please just die. Ugh, die. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I missed out on the am a lot of the ammo. That's because we don't have that plutonium hunger. It's really good in the late game, but so is Bloodless. I probably would be dead if we didn't have Bloodless. Go to hell, you little fish. Grenade launcher. I mean, we used it earlier. <laughs> Not so great now. Pick up a few more rads. We're doing fine. I just wish ammo wasn't such a problem. Is that a super flak? I can't, I can't take it. I want to, but I can't. Um, extra feet, you walk faster, walk normal on all terrain. Uh, da, 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 da. We're gonna go back muscle. Even though we're not getting the ammo, it's nice. Oh, this is the IP, IDPD and this is the Palace, excuse me. Palace, also a pretty hard area. You see these dogs? These dogs are from hell. They don't want to see you live. They don't want anything to live. They want to see your life end. And they are very, very good at doing it. They do a shitload of contact damage and they are super unpredictable. And those dudes, they're annoying in larger numbers. But yeah, see that? He just kind of lunges at you. So I'm just gonna chill. And shoot him in the mouth. And then one, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. We're taking that. Super crossbow, you shoot five bolts at once. With bolt marrow, it's pretty nuts. Ah, but impact wrist is pretty amazing late game too. But because we didn't get any ammo mutations, I think I have to get the plutonium hunger. Basically, impact risk when you shoot somebody, they go flying. Like, they're made out of rubber, and they're jumping on trampolines. They go away. And when they hit people, they cause a lot of damage. But, um, uh, plutonium hunger is pretty much a must. And just to show you, shotgun shoulders, shells bounce further. It is pretty nuts how far those shells bounce, but we need the plutonium hunger. And we're at 401 kills. A good run for me goes to about, a, my best run of all time is about 3,500 kills. If we get to there, we ain't even going to do a daily because that will be a long video. But we'll just see how far this goes. I mean, I might just die on the final boss, which comes right after this. Go away, dog. Just go away. Not today. You're going to take the bolts. That is a shielder. Shielders also want you dead. Pretty much everything in this game wants you dead, but some things are more motivated than others. Shielders, basically, they can shield, like crystal. Um, they reflect pretty much anything bullet-based. Bullet weapons, energy weapons, they don't reflect bolts, so I felt pretty safe doing that. We're gonna take uh, 14 bolts, and we got 34 on our shotgun. This is where we get into a little bit more tricky situation. So this is the throne, throne room. You just take a walk down here. This is nice. You touch him, he turns all green and lit up. And then you pop once to get him started. So it'll take a few seconds before. But he will, uh, doesn't look like much now, but he gets a little, little angry about that. Alrighty, let's go ahead and shoot him in the mouth. He shoots out these little balls. Thankfully, you can shield 
as Crystal, because otherwise it'd be a lot harder. Also, if you stand in the middle, he does that. Anyway, we're gonna shoot him in the face. We don't have, s oh. Let's just pop him. That, that rate of fire is amazing right now, but I, I would rather have the health. I would rather have the health. Thank you. Thanks for that health. Oh, I have no ammo. This is where it gets tricky. When you have no ammo, and you don't have a lot of hope. Oh, he's dead. Oh, I don't want... Ah. Oh, you little bastards. Just die. These little pillars, when they get hit, they turn into those little palace guardians. They're a pain in the ass. When did they change this? I wonder. That used to be green. Now it's blue. I missed an update. I think. Well, anyway, uh, on to the second part of the throne. Throne 2, but first we get our ultra mutation. The first one that we are going to take is Fortress. You get 6 more HP, so a total of 20. Or Juggernaut. You move while shielded. So that is really good um, with Gamma Guts, or it used to be. It used to be better with Gamma Guts, but now it's not so nuts. So I'm going to take Fortress. And then more IDPD, because why the hell not? Alright, Throne 2 has less health, flies around, kills you on touch. We're just going to shoot him as much as possible. And he's dead. See? Not that bad. On to our first loop. 436 kills. Not so crazy right now, but it'll get better. I really need this ammunition. Ugh, this is where not having an ammo-related mutation is going to suck a whole lot. We're going to have to change weapons a lot, and we probably won't want to. We're going to have to shoot this guy in the face and hope he dies. And I'm really going to have to start paying more attention to. Holy! What the fuck is that? When did they add that? Oh my god! Uh, I don't want these things. I want the super shielder to go away. On a loop, they get a lot tougher. And I don't have ammo. You see those? That is death. And I'm dead. Okay. Not the best run in the world, but it was mostly plagued by not having the mutations that we needed. Namely, a mutation called Rabbit Paw. But uh, let's go ahead and try and do the daily now. The, the daily just reset 30 minutes ago, so whatever we get is going to be kind of inflated. But let's go ahead and do it. We'll do a we'll do a daily run and. Uh, who do we want to do? Rogue, Horror, Rebel. And as we play more of these levels, you know, I'll try out all of them, but... I'm trying to think of what's best for the daily. Melting can be nuts, but he starts with 2 HP. That's a problem for him. But, um... You know what? Let's try it. You know, go for glory. Melting. So yeah, 2 HP, but his right click does this. That gets a lot better with his throne butt. But basically, yeah, anything one hits us. Little bandits, they one hit us. That's why we're going to be looking out for health mutations. Something strong spirit, rhino skin to give us that extra health. Because um, otherwise, we're going to be in a real bad position all game. It's risky playing. It's real risky playing as melting. But if you're careful, you can get a good run going. And also, he gets more he gets more rad, so you level up a little bit faster. All right. We are going to take the Plutonium Hunger first. It lets us hide out a little bit, get those rads. Makes it a little bit easier. Oh, my face itches. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, we're all right. We're all right. Go away, maggot. Go away, bandit. See, we're already level three on the second level. It's nuts. Generally, you'll hit your ultra mutation by around either the palace or the labs. Labs, if you're lucky. Die. Okay, got the scorpion. And I believe that's the last enemy. Yeah. There's the throne butt. 
So now we are just missing the HP mutations, pretty much. I mean, ammo mutations are great, but look at this. Look at that. It's crazy. Okay, Big Bandit, real spooky. We don't have the weapons that we want to fight him, so I'm just gonna ah, run away. Even the little bandits are scary. This is scaring the crap out of me. That is the thing about melting. Oh my god. I really want to get that ammo, the weapon box. Wrench, not what I need. Really not what I need. I will take it, but in a, in a second. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. I got a little bit lucky that he walked into the, uh, into where I had a whole bunch of dead bodies. But there we go. All right, we aren't dead. We're moving along. We get the rhino skin. Rhino skin is great. So now we won't die in one hit from every, literally everything in the game. Yeah. It's kind of jarring going from, you know, the uh, most tanky hero in the game, not hero, um, <laughs> most tanky mutant in the game, to the character that can literally only get hit once and is very, oh, see? We wouldn't be dead right now, but we would be at half health. We're gonna cheese the game a little bit. Smack those guys. All right, and let's see. We're just gonna run through here, smacking them all in the mouth. Wrench is pretty good, but it's it's really dangerous for when you're playing as Melting. Like, it, it, you're you're more you're more likely to take damage when you're doing this. But we're gonna take this crossbow and just be happy about it. That was a crazy bounce he did there. Next up, we are going to take Impact Wrists because it's nuts. It's crazy. See, he flies over there. If there was an enemy there, it would have hurt him. But this is going good. I mean, I rarely get melting runs where I actually have all the mutations that I need. Oh, for some reason I felt like I was crystal right there and I could have shielded, but um, that is not the case. And that would have been uh, almost certain death. No, yeah, that's certain death. They do three damage with a uh, with a shot. Come here, come here, little crow. There we go. That's not bad. I'm just gonna blow this up. Get both of them. Okay. A little nervous. I want more health. I want bloodlust. I want strong spirit. Those are things we could do with right now. Ah, go away. But you can see that impact wrist working there. Killed a few things I didn't even touch. Yep, I'm just gonna use our right click a little bit. Take advantage of that. Go away. Go away. Those assassins are a certain death. Um, they smack you in the face and then you die, basically. Okay. Uh, go away. Die. This sucks a lot. We're just gonna leave. We're gonna blow this up, turn it into that, and go. Oh my god. That was so scary. We're gonna take Bolt Marrow. Because I love Bolt Marrow. <sighs> okay, this is where you get crowns. You walk on this, you get a crown. Several different choices. There's none. There is Crown of Death, Bigger Explosions. Contrary to what a lot of new players believe, that doesn't work with Melting's uh, right click. I wish that were the case, but it just doesn't work. It's a different type of explosion. There's blood explosions and normal explosions. Blood explosions don't do damage to the player and they destroy targets. And that's basically the difference. And also they don't work with Crown of Death. Uh, Crown of Guns, no weapon drops more, no ammo drops, excuse me, uh, more weapon drops. 
Uh, take damage or radiation when opening chests. Free mutation, narrow future. Basically, you get a mutation of the game's choice every time you level up. You don't get to choose. Uh, and Crown of Curse has a lot more curse chests. Curse chests, they you can't dr they drop weapons that you can't drop, but they're better by like a difficulty of two. Like normally, say you got a weapon on the sewers. Say a weapon normally drops on the sewers, you get it on the beginning of the game. Is basically the idea of that. But we are just going to... Oh, that's actually really good, though. Guns contain HP instead of ammo. But we're not going to take it. We're just going to roll none and hope for a good spawn. But uh, that dream just died. This is death. We are going to die. Maybe. Ah! I shot the car and exploded and died. That was poor play. That was the daily. I feel bad about that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, like and subscribe if you like the video. Follow me on Twitch uh, so I can start doing daily, or not daily streams, but weekend streams. Um, we ain't that far yet. But, you know, like and subscribe if you liked it, and y'all have a good day.